Hi everyone, my name is Heather and I'm back with another process video for you today. So today I am using Bella Boulevard's Camp Out collection. This um, collection is a couple years old, but I love how cute. Look at all those cute little animals and the colors are just a lot of fun. Um, this can, this really could be used for a lot of things, um, swimming or summer or camping. Uh, there's definitely a lot of things you can do with this collection. So I'm just going through and finding the papers that I want to use. I'm scrapbooking these photos and I can't remember what year this was. Um, this is a layout that I did at a crop that I went to, what, back in February, I think? So um, I'm trying to remember everything that I add to it and everything. but. I'm scrapbooking these photos from a vacation we took a few years ago. We actually went camping, but we were camping near the beach. And near the beach is this um, boat that's been there for quite a few years, and it's called the Peter Iredale. So um, that is, my husband loved looking at it and everything. Um, he loves to go to this location. And so I thought that brown paper that you can see on the left of the cutter was really a good choice to use. Um, because of the brown in the old boat. So you will see how I use it in a little while. So I'm just cutting down a few pieces. I'm not measuring. I'm just kind of thinking a few horizontal and a few vertical ones. Um, I have a large five by seven photo and then three other photos I want to use. So um, I am going to play around a little bit with them and struggle just a little bit because I had originally thought maybe just doing one layout, but I wanted to use all the pictures. So I thought doing one layout with just the big one and then a smaller layout. But then I thought, well, I don't really want to do that. Um, I had cut the smaller photos down to four by four at this point, thinking that um, they would all fit okay. But you will see that I'm going to actually, I'm going to end up cutting them down a little bit more to make it look like it flows. And then I went to cut this paper and I decided instead of cutting it with my trimmer, I wanted to cut it with, um, just tear the edges and just kind of give it a little bit of a rustic look too. You know, you can see the boat in the picture there. So this is how I was originally thinking I would lay out my papers, um, but I am struggling a little bit. I'm going to look now for a paper maybe that I can back or yeah mount my photo on. And um, I thought maybe this blue one, even though it's got a bunch of stars, it's more of like a camping for a nighttime theme type look. Um, I just didn't really like it. And then I tried the putting the photo on top of this brown pattern paper, and I liked that more. I think it just really helps the boat stand out and I just really like the way that this looked. So also that arrow piece that's on the layout now with all the little black arrows is an acetate piece and it was made to go with this collection. You, you, you had to purchase it separately, but um, I had forgotten that I even had those and so I was pretty excited when I saw that. So here's where you're going to see me cut down my photos a little bit smaller. Um, I am trying to keep everybody and everything on the photos. I didn't want to lose too much. I did know that since I had the big photo, everybody's in the big photo, that I wasn't really afraid to cut off too much of the other photos because, like I said, you can see everything in the big photo. So I'm just going to play around with the placement of the photos now. Um, this is where I was sort of wondering maybe if I should just not put them all on there or maybe thinking couple in the top left and one in the bottom or some in the bottom right, but um, I wasn't liking that. So um, I'm just going to play around a little bit more with all of them. And I am again going to ink all my edges with my brown chocolate close to my heart ink, which I'm going to start doing here. I like the placement of the pattern paper, so I am going to go ahead and start gluing those down. So I'm going to start with this striped strip. And then after I do the stripe strip, I'm going to mount this acetate piece, but I'm just putting adhesive where I know that it's going to be covered by that blue pattern paper that I'm inking right now. So, um, and once it's in the page protector, it won't move. It actually, you know, acetate gets a little bit staticky sometimes, so I'm not too worried because it usually it sticks to the paper itself anyway. So as long as it has that little bit of adhesive, it should be fine. So I went ahead and glued down that blue piece and I felt like it needed a little something along the bottom with it too but 
I wasn't really sure. I didn't want to bring in too bright of a color. I did have a yellow border st um, strip on the page for a while, but I wasn't crazy about it. So I felt the yellow was just kind of an off color for this layout. So it's not going to make it on there. Um, you can see I've already taken it off the layout anyway. So I decided I wasn't sure what kind of border to add along the bottom with the blue. So I'm just going to go ahead and start gluing some of my photos down. And I also forgot that I had some of these thicker border strips. Um, so I'm going to play with these a little bit. I really like these, but they're almost a little too thick thick as far as the chipboard goes. So I liked the way it looked um, vertically there, but I felt like it needed, again, still something to go along the bottom. So I am going to try this green sticker strip and I'm going to tuck it under so that you just see a little bit of the green and I like that because I felt like it just gave almost like a little shelf along the bottom of the layout for everything to sit on. and. Um, and it just kind of held everything in place. So I like that. I'm gonna go ahead and glue down the photos and that chipboard border sticker piece that has the hearts that I was thinking of using actually gets push, put to the side. And so I forget about it for a while. And um, I'm not sure if I remember and to add it to the layout or not. I think it might not end up on there. So um, now I'm going to spell out the name of the boat and I'm just that's pretty much going to be the title of my page I was kind of playing around with where I wanted to put it here but um, it's Peter Iredale so I'm going to get down here and I'm going to use these letters are a lot of fun I like these letters because the centers of the letters like the P and the E there you can see are filled in and I don't always use letters like that so I kind of thought it was kind of a playful fun different look for once and here's where I'm going to get down and I'm going along perfect with my title and I realized my E, I had used all the E's. <laughs> Apparently it only comes with three E's and I needed one more and I was like, oh, are you kidding me? I really wanted to use these letters. My friends are like, what's wrong? I'm like showing them, well, look, I've used all my E's. Um, <laughs> so I'm just looking. I'm not sure what to do. Um, I am going to take this F and I'm going to try to cut it to make a capital type E, but what you will see when I put it on the layout, yeah, that just does not look right at all. It doesn't go with the rest of the letters at all. And so I'm like, well, that's not going to work. What am I going to do? And then I am looked at the letter sheet again and because the letters are all filled in, the Q was all filled in. Filled in. So. You saw me there, I just took one of the E's I already had, placed it on top of this one, traced where I needed to cut, and when I'm done cutting this, it's actually going to look fairly similar to the E's that it came with. So I'm putting the one that I cut there on the layout now. And um, you can't even tell the difference. I was so happy because I didn't want to use something else. I really wanted to use these letters. Um, you know me, if you've been following me for a while, I've been really trying to use up my letters. So I didn't want to use different letters for these. So I was very excited. And look how great that E turned out. And also just to note, if you do have to kind of alter and make your own letter, um, I put that E inside the word Peter because I knew if it was on the end of the word Iredale, then it would be more noticeable if it was a little different. So I put it inside the word Peter so that you wouldn't notice if there was a difference. I hope that makes sense. So you saw me playing with that border sticker again, and here's where I put it to the side, and um, I think it gets kind of pushed away and I forget about it. But um, I'm going to add some pop dots to some of my stickers. You're going to see me take some of the stickers and try them on there and put them back on the sheet and move them around. And um, I'm really going to play around with my clusters a little bit. This collection, because it's so... I don't think that it has to be so specific themed. I don't mind using things on a layout that don't really go with it, like coffee on a layout about playing outside, you know? I mean, I don't really mind that. Um, but if it does say something like campfire, I don't really want to put it here on a picture of us at the beach. Um, so I'm, I am going to play around quite a bit with with these stickers because there is so much that there was more that related to camping in it than I thought because there's also a lot of like water and fish so um they had these really cute chipboard I love <laughs> I really like the cutesy collections if you've been following me so far you probably picked up on that you know the doodlebug cutesy animal collections so this one was a lot of fun to play with and work with 
So what I've done is I've added, I've made a little cluster by in front of the word Peter and I have that word sticker strip under the title. And then there was a chipboard cloud, which I thought went really well right there. Um, it was just kind of cute, so that's gonna go there. So that's one cluster. And then over to the right of the layout, I have an arrow popped up on some foam tape and it's got a chipboard circle that's kind of a compass looking, I believe, um, and a little sticker heart, and that's gonna be another cluster. And then here in the cluster that I started working on now on the left has that heart and a little brown arrow and a tab sticker that I kind of stuck behind the photo. And I'm just gonna start gluing all this stuff down. The only thing that I did struggle with a little bit is there's a piece of chipboard in the cluster on the top left and the cluster on the right, but there is no chipboard in the cluster on the bottom left. But I'm just gonna leave it that way because I, you know, I figure it's okay. They, there's a different element in each. See, here's where I'm looking for the chipboard to see if there's anything that will go in that cluster. But you can see that it's really, it's like really campy theme and nothing that would really go. I could have put a fish, but we weren't, we didn't really play in the water at this point. Um, I think we just stopped to look at the ship and the boys played in the sand. And um, so it wasn't a whole lot of playing in water at this point. So, but that's okay. I decide that I'm going to add a different element into each cluster and that will still be for the three. So you can see me here. I have these white enamel shapes and I believe those are also by Bella Boulevard. They did not come with this collection. I don't, I think they just brought out a bunch of different colors. Um, so I added one of those shapes into each cluster and that kind of gives me a three. So um, here I am. I remembered I had this border that I was going to use, but I decided it's just not going to work anywhere. Um, I have this blue star and I kind of liked the way that it looked there. So I'm going to pull up a couple different things and see how it would look in this cluster. But um, I just decided at the end that I, it just was too much right there and I wasn't going to worry about it. But now I have a little spot of my paper that was ripped, but I don't think that really bothers me. <clears throat> So here I am, I'm just gonna go around now and I just chose the green color. There's that green board, border sticker strip along the bottom and then that green arrow in this cluster on the right. So I decided to just go ahead and add some green enamel stickers around to each cluster also. So that also adds another element, three, uh, three elements, three of the same element around the page. So, all right guys, I hope you have a great day and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.